Anguish etched across their faces, desperate Palestinians flee central Gaza. They've done this many times before, cramming into makeshift camps in an area Israel designated a safe zone. Now the Israeli army is warning them to leave. Where do we go now? Every time we go somewhere, they tell us to go again. The conditions in Gaza are breeding disease. Palestinian health authorities have revealed the first confirmed case of polio in decades. The United Nations says sanitation is abysmal and with further cases feared, it's demanding a ceasefire so it can stop an epidemic. A polio pause is a must. It is impossible to conduct a polio vaccination campaign with war raging all over. The ongoing bloodshed in Gaza fueling tensions throughout the Middle East. In Yemen, many thousands of Houthis gather after Friday prayers, <laughs> chanting death to America, death to Israel, victory to Islam. It's a reminder that Iran's proxies can hit Israel from the south and the north if ceasefire talks fail. Retaliatory strikes continue to inflame tensions on the border between Israel and Lebanon. At least nine people dead after an Israeli attack said to be targeting a Hezbollah weapons depot. But the United States, which is mediating the negotiations, believes it's not too late to stop a regional war. Just a couple more issues, I think we've got a shot. Are you more optimistic now than you have been in months past? Yes. US officials say they've drafted a new ceasefire agreement, which they believe bridges the gap between Israel and Hamas's positions. And there's a lot riding on this, with Iran reportedly laying out the equation for Israel. Deliver peace in Gaza or face the might of Tehran and its allies. And while the talks continue, the suffering in Gaza does too. According to the UN, an average of 130 civilians have been killed every day since October 7. The death toll now over 40,000. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Jerusalem.